there, it's Uncle Laurie here. Welcome to my midweek shave. Uh, this midweek shave, we're going to do a legacy shave, and the legacy soap we're using is the original tobacco. And I do mean original, this is the tallow based version. You've still got the cover on it, but I have been using it. And it's got that classic old man, old woman scent, whatever you want to call it. It's a lovely scent, at least I like it. Uh, being an old man myself, I'll leave the uh, scent profile here so you can get a look at it yourself. To me it smells a bit floral, a bit woody, a bit musky, you know, all the lovely powdery aromas that you get from an old classic scent. Alright, what else are we using? The brush we're going to use for that is an Australian made brush from Troy Craft. A beautiful red tulip handle and in there it's got a 28mm uh, what do you call it? tuxedo knot from Yaki, Yaki tuxedo knot set to I think it was 56mm I'll have to check that a little bit later. So we'll just stick out of my mug to get wet. And the razor we're using today comes from Croatia. Superior Cuts, it's called. This is a 3D printed razor. You might be familiar with it. And the only reason I like to buy it I'm not that keen on the plastic razor, but I love the colours. Blue and white is my favourite colours combination. So I got it. And it comes with three plates. Uh, I selected the 0.4 to 0.8. So I've got 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0.8 plates in it. And I'm shaving with the 0.6, so halfway. So 0 0.6 to me is a bit like um, uh, the Rockwell on plate 3. Um, and the blade we're using, if I can find it, here it is. We're using the Nasset, Gillette Nasset from um, Made in Russia. Gillette Nasset stainless they're called. And it's on its third use I believe. And the pre-shave, we've already got the pre-shave on. We're using the TRICARE Goat's Milk and Glycerin Soap, made in Australia. As you can see, I've already got the scrapings um, of the tobacco in there. What I do is I use the, the edge of the spoon, it's sharp enough to scrape some soap. And I've got about um, 0.6 grams in there. I know it's 0.6 because I use one of these um, jewelers weighing machines to um, check the weight. But as you can see, and now what I do is I just press them down a little bit, then I wet my fingers. I could do with some of the dryer soaps and just sort of moisten it a bit. It also sticks down the Helps stick down the, the soap so it doesn't float around too much. Just a little bit more. So that's probably one, two mil of water already. Try my fingers. Grab my brush. Put a squeeze, a couple of shakes. I'll just give you a nice look at this, close look at this brush. Wonderful. And we'll get started.
Let's have a look at it. Oh, wonderful scent. Beautiful leather. It's an old soap, but a goodie. Scent strength. I'd give it about seven or eight out of ten. Beautiful. All right then, um, let's re-wet the face. Now the, um, the Tricare soap that I'm using at pre-shave doesn't have a lot of boosting, um, so it's more of a cleanser for me. All right then, let's put this on. Uh, one more strong scent. Yeah, I'll call it seven out of 10. Tuxedo is a bit stiffer than I'm used to. That's not bad. That's the job. Oh, I feel the slickness on my lips. <laughs> Beautiful slick soap. It's pretty they stopped the cello. I haven't tried the uh, veggie version, but I will at some point. I do have some. All right then, here we go. You can see the blade there. It's got a good amount of um, blade sticking out, but it's not, oh, I think it's about neutral exposure. And it's very light. I don't remember how light it is. Less than 20 grams. You can just feel the blade. Actually, uh, I'll get the wire machine out. I've got it here. Yes, it's 18 grams with the blade in it. maybe a little bit more than you would another razor just to keep it on the skin it certainly shaves oh that's really slick that's so this original tallow tobacco was really nice It's probably even slicker than uh, Mitchell Wolfat. Um, you might be able to see there, it says 0.6 closed comb on it. Then on the other end it says um, SC. Superior cuts. So we'll get some more. All over.
can't complain about this leather. I've probably had this soap, what, um, four, four or five years. The scent strength is still seven out of ten for me. Okay, across the face or across the grain. Weather-wise, it's been um, quite nice here. Yeah. We're into some nice spring weather. It was 25 here yesterday, and today it's around about um, 18, 19. And sunny, nice cool breeze. I actually cut the grass today, or lawn, mow the lawn, sprayed some weeds around the edges. Oh, well, that's knocking it down quite nicely. Yeah, I like the 0.6. Like I said, said on the before it feels like around um, um, plate three on the on the rock wall for comparison, and um, the point four is like about point like plate four. four. I haven't tried uh, plate points point eight yet. Okay, we're going um, south to north now. Superior cuts have other options as well. You can get an open comb version or you know, open comb bottom plate or a hybrid where you got um, open comb on one side and closed comb on the other. It's uh, got lots of choices there. Cost me about um, $65 a strand, I think. Well, $70 Australian, including tax and postage from Croatia. But if you like heavy razors, <laughs> I wouldn't get this one. It's very light. Like I said, it's 18 grams. Oh, wonderful sleepers. The 
residual is great as well. It's a bit under the jawline as usual and the chin. It's probably a little bit left behind. So I might do a actually a full fourth pass. Okay then, here we go. Even though it's light, you don't want to press as very hard. You treat it like it's an aluminium razor. You have to press a little bit because of because it's so light, it does jump around otherwise. Point six is quite mild for me. That's why I'm taking a little bit more time to get the hairs down. Huh. It's still doing a job. Maybe I'll try point eight on the next shave. It's not a BBS, it'll be a damn fine shape, that's all I need. Wonderful. And that residual sleepness is wonderful. It's a great soap, the old tallow version of the back. And I've got plenty, um, I think I've got two pucks. couple of packs spare so I'll be right for the duration because it lasts forever yeah that's a damn fine shape not super close but very nice we'll just whip around with the alum Nothing at all. Just slight tingles here and there. Yeah, I probably can go to point eight. Oh, that's 
all we need. Give that a rinse off. Let's have a look at the leftovers. Even with 0.6 grams, I've got plenty left over, enough for another two passes. And I did four. It's got a good shine on it. And wonderful slick soap. So we'll put this on my face, go and have my shower, and come back for the post shave. Okay, back in the shower. I've already started with my pre-shave. Forgot to turn the camera on. So we started off with the uh, Jenna Olivera gel with the witch hazel and vitamin E. So I'm just spreading that around now. got a damn fine shave. So the second ingredient we're going with the emu oil moisturizer another Australian product nice Nice light floral scent. And the final ingredient, of course, we're going with the tobacco splash. Wonderful. Okay then. <laughs> Sorry for that quick rush at the end there. Um, I'm going to an appointment so I'll have to cut it off there. And thank you everybody for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.